Hello Virgo and welcome to your April 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Virgo. Virgo, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Virgo. This is for you. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for virgo this is for virgo for april 2020 for their mid-month reading what is going on with virgo oh boy okay Okay, so the past, the past feels like the past is stuck on you, okay? They're still stuck on you. They feel like they can't be released from you, Virgo, okay? They are surrounded by thoughts of you. The swords are our thoughts, right? And they can't move. They feel frozen in time. They feel frozen in time. They can't see a way, they can't see themselves with anyone but you. That's the issue. You um, are moving forward. You're charging ahead. You're, you're, you are showing life who is boss here, okay? Um, they're struggling. They're struggling. They, they thought um, it is the past because they showed up right here. This person's struggling with everything that's going on in the world. They're struggling um, with thoughts of you. It's constant thoughts of you, Virgo. Constant thoughts of you. And um, I just feel like, you know, there's just no forward movement for this person. Um... It's hard. It's hard for you in regards to this individual. It is. Um, you've went pretty icy. You've charged ahead, but somehow they have a way of speaking to you. And this is why you try to avoid conversation with them. They have a way of speaking to you uh, that melts you. That's what I want to say. Very strong connection here. Very strong connection with this individual. They want you to follow your heart. They feel like they, they, they know underneath your icy surface. There is still emotion there for you. So they want you to come in their direction. Um, I just, I don't know if you're, you're going to. Um, very strong connection here, though, with this uh, lover's card. Gemini energy. They want you to follow their heart. You could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in their chart. He always pops up, doesn't he? Usually in conjunction, combined with these two. Some of you like that Aries energy. Some of you don't. This is a person that is having a hard time letting go of control. Um... I do feel like they struggled sometimes with um, loyalty. I do, and when it when it came to you, maybe they're they're realizing that they they would love to take control and move forward. They thought that you you would be there when they would come back around, but I think you fooled them. I think you fooled them. See, they they thought. You would just still be standing still when in reality it's them standing still this time. It's them that's frozen in time like a statue. They're not moving. Um, you're doing just fine moving on right now. 
So they're, they're having a hard time relinquishing control here. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in their chart. You have a lot going on behind the scenes. It's it, you, you're trying, you're moving forward. This person doesn't know what you're up to. Um, uh, Jim and I kind of got a similar reading, um, but a little less, um, it, it's different, but kind of the same. You could be dealing with the Gemini because they're here in this reading as well with their card. Um, so you may want to check that out if you're dealing with a Gemini, but you could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. Um, you're trying to move in a way where you don't let allow this person to know what it is that you're doing because they can be um, trying to control you. So in your mind, and this not just with this person, but you like to tend to try to keep things a little bit more private because if you let too many people know what you're doing, people have a way of ruining things right that's just in general and i know that's harsh but you got a lot of jealous hearted people out there sometimes so you kind of have to um, and i said this to gemini move in silence you don't want this person to know exactly what's going on with you you're moving forward that's most de and maybe some of you have already moved on to a new energy um, but this person's having a hard time relinquishing that control. They can't stop thinking about you. Constant thoughts, like I said before, of you. And it's it's triggered by, they often wonder what you're doing, what you're up to, because it's very mysterious. I don't think you've talked to this person in a while. I don't think um, they're going to be reaching out, though. Uh, whether you could talk to him or not, it's up to you. Um, I, I think you c try to keep things very hush, hush, hush. So, hush, hush. So uh, things won't get back to this person if they start asking around about you. Um, you're, you're just doing your thing, moving forward. You may have plans, you know, to uh, even move. Um, you're, but this person sees you as a mystery. And it's literally driving them crazy, Virgo. So let's see what else is going on. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm going to say this. I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. So you could be dealing with a situation like this right now. In the future, some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Cross watchers, keep in mind, um, the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay? And uh, so assign the roles as you wish. Okay? It's a general reading. But I see this as an ex coming back. Sometimes you can see this as a past life connection, which very well may be true because... With these two cards, it is a very strong connection that you have with this person. But you're trying to break those ties. You're trying to break those soul ties. This person struggles. And I feel like I've said this to you before. This person struggles with that. It's because the two of you have spent lifetimes together. Lifetimes together. And they keep circling back to you. They keep circling back to Virgo. I feel like they have tried to date other people. I feel like they've entertained other energies. It always comes back to you, Virgo. They always get lost in thought when it comes to you. And it's because of this right here. Because of the strong soul connection that the two of you had. Now, soul ties are very interesting, right? Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. But they always teach us lessons. Always, always teach us lessons. And that is that is the key here, right? But this person is going to be coming back around again with the Six of Cups. Because they can't get you off of their mind. The challenge is you, it, it's, you block them from your heart space. You've went cold on them, okay? You already made the decision to move on. 
I know now Two of Swords is a stalemate. It's need more time, more information to make a decision. I'm seeing this as you just, you don't even want to see it. You don't even want to deal with this person. You don't want to see this person. You got your blindfold on. You got your blinders on. I can't even see you. I can't hear you. You are not allowed in my space anymore. X, X. That's how I'm seeing that. So you're being extraordinarily, uh, like, just back off right now, right? And that is the challenge. You are the challenge for this person. Not only is, are you a complete mystery to them and they have no idea what you're up to, but when they do try to come back around, it's complete and total resistance. The advice, we have this King of Swords energy. Like I said, you went cold on them. Now, you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. Right? Male or female, does not matter. I feel like this is more your energy. I feel like you went cold on this past person. You started thinking with your head. The emotion went out the window. And you've been trying to break free of this. Trying to cut those soul ties with that sword right there. Cut them, cut them, cut them. I feel like you are being more successful at this than this other person is because they can't figure this out. It's like they're, they're spinning. They feel bound to you. They feel bound to you because of this. And they, it's like they can't even explain it. I feel like they've tried to move forward, move ahead, and they can't explain it. They feel like they have to be there to know what you're doing at all times kind of a situation. Now, the advice here is you may have to get a, a, a little bit blunt with this person, a little bit verbally sharp with this individual, if you haven't already, and make it crystal clear that this is not going to be taking place, that you have moved on because that is your focus, forward movement with this chariot card here. Forward movement. You're moving in a different direction. You're going towards your victory. You, you've probably moved on with newer energy, some of you. And you are in charge here. They need to know who's in charge here. It's not them. Not anymore. You've taken control back and you are in charge of your chariot that represents your life. And you are moving forward. The outcome here, they are going to circle back around to you and they are going to try to reach out with this communication, Page of Wands. So passionate communication here. Um, so yeah, they, they're going to be reaching out, okay? Some sort of message. Um, they're going to get it to you one way or another. Whether they got to make a fake account and get on, on, on social media, whatever they got to do, or they send some sort of message to a, um, a friend, acquaintance, fan, whatever. Uh, or they stuff a letter underneath your door or leave a card in your mailbox. I don't know. They're going to get a message to you one way or another. They want to work on it. I feel like they're, they got eyes on you from a distance, but they have put you up on this pedestal and you're just it. You, you're the only thing that they can imagine being. You're the only person that they want. You're like, you're like, hey, you're everything to this person. They can't shake you. And they're going to want to work on this partnership here. Three of Pentacles. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo for April 2020 for their mid-month reading. Yeah, you're not going to be expecting this. You're not going to be expecting um, this communication from this person, but it's coming. It's coming, right? So expect the unexpected here. I just feel like like this could be like a bit of a, war a warning that they're circling back around. They're coming back around. This person, they hurt you so badly that you just don't have any kind of emotion for them left. Uh, you know, and I said this, I, I don't know, I think maybe an Aquarius reading, I don't know. So you can only be hurt so many times before you kind of just lose the passion, lose the love for somebody. They can only do, they can do you dirty only so many times before you're like, forget this, right? I feel like that's, that's where you are, okay? And you may have to break it down to them 
that, you know, kind of sharply, bluntly, that this is done. This is over. And it may hurt them, but um, if, you know, if they have, they have, you know, done you so wrong, if they have betrayed you and you just ain't got nothing left for them, Virgo, then you might have to get, you know, really sharp with your words. This is for Virgo for April 2020. This is for Virgo for April 2020. For their mid-month reading, let's pull some romance angels for Virgo. What is going on here with Virgo? What is going on here with Virgo? Yeah, see, you're moving on. There's, you have nothing left to give to this person. For a lot of you, I think you've moved on to, to other um, people, uh, newer energies. You're focused on that. You're focused on yourself. You're not, and you thought, you know what? They haven't been back around in a while. Well, here they come back around again. Okay? So unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. They ruined the attraction and the chemistry with their behavior. And then we have honeymoon here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is very six of swords in the tarot. This is you moving on, moving forward, moving away from this situation. You're moving on. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. So expect some sort of unexpected communication from them. And you may have to be very blunt with them. Very sharp with them. Because you are trying to cut those ties that bind you. They feel very bound to you and they are having a hard time Figuring out why they have tried. They have tried to stay away from you. They've tried dating other people, entertaining other energy. They've tried to numb it with probably, I'm going to say, alcohol. They've tried all of these things and nothing works. They keep coming back to you. Their mind keeps, it's, it's, a, con, it's a battle for this person. It is. You're, you're like a drug to them. All right, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Um, that is your April 2020 monthly reading. Um, Mid-month reading. And I hope it resonates for some of you, most of you, all of you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave the links down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there that pretend to be me for whatever reason. Um, next week, Virgo, I'm going to be working on the future love read. So check that out for those Virgos that are new to the channel. Um, I have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I go live nearly every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. And um, sometimes those are pre-recorded premieres. They're having some trouble with the live stream, but around noon Eastern Standard Time. Virgo, I hope you had an awesome Easter, and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. And God bless.